going for a quick 5k. That sentence is so simple, yet has changed the trajectory of my life. My name is Peter Brookhart. I am a Chicagoan who currently lives in Orlando, Florida with my best friend and wife, Sarah. I am a runner, but I haven't always been. Growing up, I was not active whatsoever. When I began dating Sarah, her dad, Jim, would regularly say, I'm gonna go out for a quick 5k and head out the door. Me being not physically fit or active whatsoever would think, how? That is insane. I thought for sure he'd come back hours later exhausted and broken, but oh how I was wrong. He'd have come back through the door in what felt like a blink of an eye and looked completely fine. If anything, refreshed and better. My father-in-law inspired me with that simple sentence and his lifetime of strength and courage. He's an incredible runner. He completed the Chicago Marathon multiple times. Unfortunately, while he appeared healthy as can be, he was quietly and gracefully battling the wrath of melanoma cancer. In early 2012, our life was turned upside down when he passed away. The same strength and courage I learned from Jim is what fueled my transition into becoming a runner. My wife and I got married in 2015 and we quickly knew that we wanted to start our family. What we didn't know was that our journey to parenthood was about to take an unexpected turn, a turn that led to an unexplained infertility diagnosis, surgeries, changing our diet, welcoming a dog into our life, countless infertility treatments, IVF, and even a miscarriage. During our first fertility specialist visit in 2017, our doctor made a simple suggestion. Eat better and work out. The idea of living a long, full, and healthy life for ourselves, and more importantly for our future children, seemed like a no-brainer. It was in this moment when that simple sentence popped into my head again. I'm going for a quick 5K. Shortly after we began treatment, I told Sarah I wanted to run a marathon. I did it, guys. Five. I got four miles in. Non-stop, I don't know. I'm tired, but I did it. Something that my body and mind couldn't even fathom before. She supported me 100%. We took it a step further, and I didn't just want to run a marathon, we decided that I would run all four races offered at the Walt Disney Marath World Marathon Weekend. This is also known as the Dopey Challenge, and it consists of running a 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon across four continuous days. I'd run it for Sarah and our future family. I'd be motivated by that sentence, I'm going to run a quick 5K. The slogan of a man I admire so much and who has the most happy and can-do demeanor imaginable. This is when American Cancer Society came into our life. While doing research for Run Disney in 2018, we learned that ACS has a team raising funds through completing the Dopey Challenge. Their organization offers life coaching, vital guidance for new policy changes, transportation to and from treatment, and contribute numerous other types of support for those facing cancer and all of its baggage. Sarah's dad was a helper, a fixer, a hard worker, Every day, we strive to embody that mentality. In his honor, we built a relationship with ACS to support their charity, and more importantly, those that they serve. That year, Sarah and I fundraised over $3,000, and I successfully ran the 48.6 mile challenge. Can I have one of those, My fourth medal. My first marathon ever. Over the next two years, we carried on with our infertility treatments, kept signing up for more ACS fundraisers, and consistently took part in races, 5Ks, 10Ks, challenges, even a 50K. But soon, everything would change. In February 2020, I ran the Run Disney Princess Fairy Tale Challenge. It was on the first day of races, Sarah and I learned that our third embryo transfer had worked. She was pregnant. I don't even know if I'll make my two hour goal, but I'm okay with that. Choose night because Sarah texted me before the race started and said, I said, I'm getting a little nervous as I do. And she says, You've already achieved the greatest thing this weekend. And she's so right. We got that yes on that pregnancy test. And nothing in the entire world is going to be dead. The very next day, the World Marathon Challenge came up in conversation with our friends at ACS. The challenge consists of seven marathons in seven days on seven continents. 
and to participate with ACS, we have to fundraise $150,000. The race has been completed by so few, 183 miles in 168 hours, starting in South Africa, spanning the world, and ending in Florida. As these numbers and the challenge shake into our minds, another thought did too. I'm going for a quick 5K. Sarah and I had just received some of the greatest news of our life. Once again, we had proved that we could overcome great challenges, and at the same time, this new challenge arose. Another task that would push us both physically and mentally to grow more, just as our family was going to grow. I was hooked. We talked it over and acknowledged the demands. Seven marathons, seven days, seven continents. We can do it, so we signed up. Sarah and I invite you to join our journey to World Marathon Challenge, invite you to help our friends at American Cancer Society, and invite you to run a quick 5K. Because in November 2021, I'll be saying that 59 times in seven days. Will you consider sponsoring us along this journey?